AI robot working inside International Space Station. The idea behind the Astro B program is to test the feasibility of using AI robots to perform various tasks and aid astronauts as they carry out their daily duties. Ultimately, NASA's work is allowing autonomous robots to be tasked with performing maintenance on spacecraft like the International Space Station. In past experiments, the robots have operated one at a time or have needed more hands-on support from their human colleagues. This video shows the first time that two astrobees worked independently, side-by-side -side with humans, in separate modules of the station. Bumble tested its navigation ability in the Harmony module and gathered new station mapping data while Queen captured its first 360-degree panoramic image of the interior of the orbital laboratory. The mapping and imaging experiments are part of the Integrated System for Autonomous and Adaptive Caretaking project managed at NASA's Ames Research Center in California. The project uses the Astrobe system, a set of three cube-shaped robots plus a docking station designed and built at Ames. The Astrobees, which first launched to the space station in 2018, can operate fully autonomously or under remote control by astronauts or ground operators. Isaac researchers have been teaching the Astrobees AI robots to autonomously support spacecraft monitoring, maintenance, and other tasks. In addition to making spaceflight safer and more cost-effective, robotic assistants like the Astrobees could manage routine chores to free up humans for more complex work. Furthermore, future spacecraft like the Gateway Space Station won't be crewed year-round, and will need smart self-operating robots to keep an eye on things while humans are away. The Isaac Project closed the current phase of its mission this month, but there's much more in store for the Astrobees. Astrobe was funded by the Game Changing Development Program within NASA's Space Technology Mission Directorate and the Artemis Campaign Development Division. The Integrated System for Autonomous and Adaptive Caretaking Project is also funded by the Game Changing Development Program. NASA's Johnson Space Center has developed technologies for Astrobe AI robots and also runs some of its research programs. Artificial intelligence driven clinical sepsis screening approach save lives. An adaptive artificial intelligence AI, technology called the Targeted Real-Time Early Warning System developed by Bayesian Health has shown its ability in a clinical setting to be an effective early warning screening tool for patients with sepsis. Detailed in three separate studies published in Nature and NPJ Digital Medicine, researchers from Bayesian and Johns Hopkins University demonstrated that deployment of the AI-driven clinical sepsis Screening approach reduced mortality, morbidity, and length of stay of hospital patients. Importantly, the studies show timely use of Bayesian's AI platform is associated with a relative reduction in mortality of 18.2% in sepsis patients. Sepsis is the leading cause of death in hospitals across the United States, with one study estimating it accounts for as many as 35% of all in-hospital deaths. While this is a well-known problem, Solutions for how to reduce sepsis-related mortality have been elusive due to the relatively few treatment options available and also a lack of consensus among providers on the best treatment methods. The researchers wrote that early recognition and treatment are critical to successful outcomes. Early administration of broad-spectrum intravenous antibiotics, in particular, is associated with decreased mortality and morbidity. The researcher's paper in Nature Medicine determined that a prospective, multi-site study of patient outcomes after implementation of the TRUE's machine learning-based early warning system for sepsis provides heterogeneity in the presentation of sepsis, which often makes early recognition challenging, causing many patients to receive delayed care. This has spurred interest in the development of automated sepsis early warning systems to help clinicians recognize sepsis as early as possible. The high provider adoption was especially notable, as one of the hurdles to the deployment of AI-based tools in the clinical setting has been how widely they are used once deployed. In the study published in NPJ Digital Medicine, the researchers noted that while a growing number of machine learning systems have been deployed in clinical settings with the promise of improving patient care, many have struggled to gain adoption and realize this promise. Based on a qualitative analysis of coded interviews with clinicians who use a machine learning-based system for sepsis, clinicians perceive themselves as partnering with the technology to augment their decision-making process. These results showing high physician adoption and associated mortality and morbidity reductions are a milestone for the field of artificial intelligence.
It's the culmination of nearly a decade of significant technological investment, deep collaboration, the development of novel techniques, and rigorous evaluation. New Breakthrough in AI for High-Volume Unstructured Text Cortical.io has announced its breakthrough prototype for classifying high volumes of unstructured text. Classifying documents or messages constitutes one of the most fundamental natural language understanding NLU, functions for business artificial intelligence AI. The benchmark was carried out on two similar system setups using the same, off-the-shelf, dual AMD EPIC server hardware. The BERT system, a transformer-based machine learning technique for natural language processing, was augmented by an NVIDIA GPU. The semantic folding approach utilized a cost-comparable number of Xilinx Alio Field Programmable Gate Array Accelerator cards. The goal of the benchmark was to compare the throughput performance of the classification inference engine of both systems. To measure performance, Cortical.io classified 16 different sets of data, including well-known data sets from sources such as Enron, Kaminsky, Farmer, and Locke, DBpedia, Indb, PubMed, Reuters, R8, R52, Osumed, Web of Science, BBC News Text, and others. Staggering results were achieved by the simultaneous application of three distinct steps. The first step improved the machine learning approach by applying semantic folding. The second step used tooling that enabled the concurrent implementation of software, hardware, and networking aspects of the semantic folding approach. The third step used parallelism of large gate arrays, practically implemented using field programmable gate array technology in form of COTS data center hardware from Xilinx. The benchmark results were that semantic folding implemented in Java on an AMD Epic Milan had 150 times efficiency and semantic folding implemented in binary on an AMD Epic Milan Plus 4 card Xilinx FPGA had 4,298 times efficiency. The benchmark results show that with semantic folding, the operations costs can be reduced from several dollars per classifier to a fraction of a cent, making large-scale classification use cases for the first time commercially viable. Example real-world workloads could be hate speech detection for nearly 3 billion Facebook users or content filtering the Twitter firehose for hundreds of millions of users. Efficiency is the new precision in artificial intelligence. While large industries are determined to use less energy, the AI and ML industry is headed in the opposite direction. The future of green computing hangs by the threat of high-efficiency AI capabilities. Make sure to like, subscribe, and enable the notification bell for the latest news in artificial intelligence, robotics, and brain-computer interface news. And thanks for watching.